On this episode, I'm going to show you how you can easily fix these cracks on your driveway or sidewalks. So stay tuned. As you can see that this crack that formed right in front of my garage door sidewalk. So I just want to fix this to make it at least aesthetically pleasing because it's right in front of my house. It continues to go all the way down my driveway. So I'm not going to go all the way down to my the asphalt part. I'm just going to go right into the concrete for today's video. The crack here ranges up to about a half inch wide. So the angle grinder I'm using today is my Black & Decker 4 inch. And the blade that I'll be using is this diamond blade, four and a half inch blade. So there's my stopper. Tighten this up. I'm just going to be cutting this with the diamond blade. There's two ways that you can do this. You can cut it just the way that it's forming and just trace around it. And we're going to leave about half inch to an inch gap. It's all up to you. But for me, I'm going to start it off with half inch wide quarter inch on each side of the crack but if you want to make it nice and neat you can use and draw out straight lines as needed but that's only up to you it's just a rough sketch that's about one inch wide just so that I can cut off all the excess and all the cracking edges as well. So now I'm going to go run it with my angle grinder. Now before we use the angle grinder, let me just show you some safety tips first. Now it's very important that you practice safety first. We're going to be generating a lot of dust. So I'm using my particulate half face respirator. I got my safety glasses just to protect myself from any debris. Now I am using the guard on my angle grinder. You can move this any position that you want make sure that you leave the guard there don't take out the guard we're going to be generating some noise so i'm going to be using my earmuffs okay friends all the tools and all the ppe that i use within this video i'll leave all the links in the description down below feel free to click on those links let's get started i'm going to use this for my knees but i want to protect my garage door from any flying debris this was a brand new garage door i don't want that getting chipped i do have an old paintbrush just to get all the debris out once we start cutting now I am going to cut in an angle, 45 degree angle on both sides. We got one side almost done and we cut it on the 45 angle. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So I can't really get to this end right here. So I'm going to be using a chisel. So the line that I did make helped a little bit, but I ended up making some smooth curvature lines right there. I did stop a little bit right there. I'm going to be using just a chisel to finish that out. So now just take your hose, wash it down real well. So for this corner right here, I'm not going to use my angle grinder. I don't want to risk cutting my garage door or getting all these dust inside my garage. So I'm going to be using my little chisel. So this is going to be a 7 8 Get it. 
you got it the edge is chiseled out all the little fine tuning done now we're gonna leave this out for it to dry out for at least about a day for everything to dry then we'll get into patching so here are a few more of the products and tools that I'll be using today to patch it up you can either use a quick fast set repair mortar here just add a little bit of water or you could already have a pre-mixed already ready to patch concrete it's very light gray very soft in this video i'll use half using the ready mix concrete and half using this repair mortar by quickrete now you can use any similar products by quickrete as well totally up to you but both should do the job real well but i want to compare and contrast both the results and you can make the decision for yourself now this one is a fast setting mortar so you have about 15 to 20 minutes by the time you mix this before it dries up you only mix what you need don't over mix too much or else you're just going to end up wasting this little mixing pan i have this little brush right here just so we can control the texture later on a little bit of water to mix this and i have a mini trowel I'll do half of the repair using Quickrete and the other half using the Pro Select Sika. Level right there. So I'm just going to skim it over with my trowel. I'm going to take my little brush here, my little mason brush, and then I'm just going to go like this, just to add, give it a little bit of texture. Kind of brush out the edges a little bit. The other half now, I'm going to use the Pro Select, the pre-mixed concrete patch. gonna leave it like rough like this let it dry we will probably apply a second coat because this might shrink this one so far is not shrinking looks pretty good it's been a few minutes now and the sun is directly beating down on the two products this one is starting to dry out really fast already here's what the concrete mortar looks like so far it's starting to dry up on the edges we'll let it sit for a little bit more to make it fully dry so you can see the final results pre-mixed it's really really noticeable we'll wait for a little bit and you see that it's starting to shrink a little bit so we might have to reapply a little bit more you can use the Sika Flex self-leveling sealant it comes in a caulking tube for me in my honest opinion um, that is a, a flexible material it does expand and contract on expansion joints this is a crack not an expansion joint so I'm not going to be using that plus it has a little bit of a latex feel to it I just feel more confident with it being nice and hard and solid like this mortar so up to you if you want to use that these two products and that Sika Flex product i can leave all the links on the description down below so check out those links if you're interested on in getting any of these but now i'm going to mix a little bit more go over this with this one so it will match a little bit better let me know in the comment section down below which product you use that you've used in the past or which one you prefer and let me know which one works best for you as well and if you have any suggestion on blending concrete or making this a little bit better let me know in the comment section down below as well i would love to know your suggestions share with the community if you found big value to this video kindly please press that big thumbs up press the subscribe notification bell and i'll see you friends on the next video